All right, hello everyone. I'm going to be showing you how to install the RL Craft Mod Pack using the Technic Launcher. So first things first, we're going to open up our Google Chrome and type in technicpack.net slash download. Should take you to this page. All you need to do is scroll down. Do not click this download button. You can clearly see it's part of ad choices. We don't click on ads. We scroll to the bottom. We're going to hit our Windows button because we are on Windows. If you're running a Mac, you can click Mac. If you're running Linux, you can run Linux. But I'm only going to show the Windows download because that's what I'm running. You'll see after you click that little Windows button, it's going to pop up with the download in your bottom left hand corner. Simply shrink your Chrome. Let it finish downloading. Once it's done, you can drag that right onto your desktop and you can close out of your web browser. Now double click on Technic Launcher. It's going to open up an actual Minecraft launcher. You can launch any mod pack you want from here, except it's not going to have you signed in. So let me see if I can sign out somehow. There we go. It's going to take you to a page that kind of looks like this, right? So you would type in your email here. I'm not going to show you what my email is. And then you would type in your password, click remember this account so you don't have to go through the hassle again, and click login. It's going to take you to a page that looks like this. You need to click on the Mod Packs tab. Once you are in the Mod Packs tab, you'll see all of these different Mod Packs listed on the side, but none of these are what you want. You want to come in here and just type in Shiv with a capital S. You're going to see Shivaxi RL Craft pop up on top with a little image with a guy standing on a tree. That's the one that you want. All you have to do is click install and let it download for a little bit. And it looks like it finished up. Once it finishes, you should see that you have a delete pack option now and the install button turned into a play button. All you have to do is click play. It's going to load up your launcher for you. However, you might run into an issue after pressing play of not having enough RAM. So right now I have my amount of RAM for this game set to four gigabytes. However, you might not have that. So in order to change that, you're gonna come up to the right hand corner where it says launcher options, click on that. Move over to the Java settings tab. Make sure you're set on the default version you know, it should be a 1.8.0 underscore 271 64 bit. And then you can select how much RAM you want to run your Minecraft with. Four gigs is enough. You can add more. Try not to go less than four gigs if you can. Then hit play. And I'll show you what I meant by having issues. So up here, you'll see this little green bar loading back and forth. This is your maximum amount of RAM that your Minecraft can run with. It's what you specified in your launcher just now. So if this bar turns red or surpasses what you allow your Minecraft to run with, the whole thing will crash. However, four, four gigabytes or 4,000 megabytes should be enough. Um, and you just let all this stuff load. It's loading up your mod packs, um, setting everything up. And once it's done, it'll launch RL Craft for you. Every time you launch RL Craft, it's going to have to go through this. It takes a little bit of time. Just try and be patient. And you'll pop up with a game like this, RL Craft. You can play single player and create your own world, just like a normal Minecraft, or you can join us by clicking Add Server. You know, type in whatever you want, RL Craft, um, and then the server address, mc.bricethompson.net just like the last server, except this time you're gonna add a colon with the port 25566. That's what separates this server from the other survival world. Once you hit done, hit refresh, you'll see RL Broccoli, hopefully it's online, double click. And we're in the game. And that is, here, let me set it today. That is exactly how you log in to our RL Craft server. If you have any issues um, that I didn't cover in this video, please let me know. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed.